How can DBI help special educators improve outcomes for students with disabilities? Hi, my name is Amy McKenna. I'm a special education teacher in the Bristol Warren Regional School District. I first encountered DBI my third year of teaching when our district offered a professional development opportunity through NCII and UConn. This involved us taking two years and four classes about intensive intervention in reading, math, and behavior, and we learned all about DBI and uh, explicit instruction. My fourth year of teaching, we were able to actually implement the DBI framework within our existing RTI system, which provided uh, those structures of support for our existing special education students. This was really life-changing for me and for my students. I had students who were making, uh, for years, were making slow progress, and with DBI in place, they were able to actually um, close the gap or work towards closing the gap. The first student that I worked with in this process was a fourth grader who came in as a first grade level reader. She was reading at an instructional J, which is end of first grade level. So by this point in her fourth grade career, she was really deep in the red and the perfect candidate for intensive intervention. The, deep, the RTI team met. We decided to put in place a uh, decoding research-based intervention. She would be progress monitored with the M-Class Dwarf at her instructional level first grade, and we were looking at an accuracy goal to measure her progress. Fast forward to the middle of the year assessments. So she started at an instructional J, and by the middle of the year, she was reading an instructional A. So over four short months, she was able to make four levels of growth. This was more than she made in her entire third grade year. So at this point, we really knew that we were onto something. For the remainder of the year, we kept the same intervention, making a few adaptations along the way based on the data. In May, we took our end of the year assessments and she grew from an instructional level J to an instructional level R, which is middle of fourth grade level. This means that she grew eight Fontes and Pinnell lettered levels in the, the course of a school year. And now instead of being years below her peers, was reading only a few months below. The following year, my colleague worked with her, and in her fifth grade year, she was able to make the, the, the next three levels of growth that she needed to be on level. So she ended her fifth grade year reading in an independent view. In the matter, of, uh, over the course of those two years, she was able to completely close her gap. The best part about this story is that she's not the only one that I worked with that was able to close the gap. I had a third grade student with a very similar profile she also had a decoding goal, and uh, used, we used the same intervention, and she was receiving 30 minutes of service five days a week. Progress monitored on an M-class dwarf with second grade level passages and an accuracy goal. She came in reading at an independent K, which is a beginning of second grade level, and solidly one year below her own grade level. By March, she was reading an independent O, which meant that she was completely on grade level and I was able to exit her from her reading goal in her IEP. This was so exciting because this was the first time that I was able to exit someone from their IEP based on the progress that they made towards their goal and actually achieving their goal. I had other students that I worked with that year that were able to close the gap or if they weren't closing the gap, were working towards it by making ambitious growth. I felt like DBI was really able to unlock potential of these students and also my potential as an educator. I walked away from this experience learning a lot and being able to apply it with my students was extremely helpful to make me a better teacher to them. One of the first things that I learned was that when there's support for the teacher there's going to be success for the students. The RTI team was extremely organized and supportive with the paperwork and the DBI framework as our decision-making guide. This helped our students make incredible growth over the course of the year that we worked with them because we were making informed decisions and adaptations to their plan based on data. I was actually able to learn more about data. When I, prior to this experience and going into this experience, I really thought that I was a data expert. I was extremely confident in my skills and abilities to take progress monitoring data and read it. And after this experience, I learned that I really only had a surface level understanding. And I was able to build that knowledge and grow myself in order to impact my students more positively. 
By picking a progress monitoring tool that we administered weekly, such as the MCLAS Dwarf, and only looking at accuracy, I was able to more knowledgeably speak to my colleagues, parents, and even the students themselves about the amount of growth that they were making. This actually improved my IEP goal writing as well, because I was able to align the IEP goal and measurable objectives with what we were working on through RTI and DBI. And the students were the ones that really did all the work, but having the support and the system of support was what helped made all of us successful. Progress monitoring was a big piece of this as well. I became very transparent in my progress monitoring to the students about what their goal was and what they should be achieving by the end of the year. This helped them invest in the weekly um, lessons and interventions and really got them excited that on Friday they'd be able to show what they learned. Before they read their passage, I would remind them of, of their performance on the assessment the week before and they would always try to beat their score. This um, allowed us to reflect after if they were able to beat their score, celebrate, sometimes with a dance party, and um, if they didn't beat their score, then we would reflect for the next week on what we could work on. I think this process also really redefined my role as a special educator. Prior to um, this experience, uh, my role in the classroom really be revolved around modifying the grade level work and also providing a lot of accommodations. And uh, my purpose really changed because um, interventions were really secondary in, in that um, culture, in that structure. Um, and now my purpose was to provide the intervention. The principal knew it, the regular educators knew it, and even the students knew that when they were going to come to my classroom that they were gonna be working specifically on this reading intervention and work toward their specific goal. It was almost as if we were rebranding special education and making our roles more clearly defined, which I think really helped me and the rest of the team to understand what was going to get this, these students to make the amazing growth that they did. I'm so happy that I had this experience with DBI and I was able to learn about it. Um, I feel like uh, having this experience made me a better special educator, it made me more knowledgeable on data, and it really made me feel like I was part of a team. I'm looking forward to continuing to work with DBI and seeing the amazing growth with my students and having them continue their success in the future.